was sitting this afternoon pondering on how I was going to do anything with the wall of the uh, of the garage that I'm knocking down. Uh, I was trying to work out what the the best material to use or the best kind of brickwork to do. How I was going to work it out yet make it still affordable. All of a sudden, I get a ping on my phone, and uh, it's a quick message from a good mate of mine, Frank. Thanks for that, Frank. Absolutely brilliant. Um, there's a local yard around where I uh, beside where we live, or not far from where I live that was selling a load of um, old metal panels and bracketry from a, a disused paint booth from somewhere. Uh, so straight on the phone, um, given the ring, bought the parts and the panels and everything, sight unseen, um, didn't really know what the world was going to look like, but they were so close and it was such a good deal, I couldn't resist getting them. Uh, so I'll give you a quick spin round of uh, what I actually got for the money that I bought. Um, they're not actually in bad condition and they're going to work out really well. So let me just spin you around and uh, go through what it is I've actually paid for and what I've got. Right, so as I said, when I bought these panels, they're all nine foot long or nine foot high if you like. Uh, they were originally all part of a, uh, a spray booth where um, the previous one used to use them to paint cars, vehicles or whatever he was doing there. But as well as the panels, obviously I've got the new, the middle sections in to replace the windows. So they're all steel panels now. Now as they're nine foot long, they're supposed to stand upright, but I'm not using them that way. I'm actually going to use them this way. So I'll stack them like that, and then I'll put another one on top, and that'll give me the height that I need for the wall. Now the panels also came with all this scrap steel, which just happens to have some of this U-channel, or C-channel, in there as well. Now what I'm going to use this for, normally you'd put that flat on the ground, to create a flat edge and you would stand your panels in there so they all line up at the same uh, at the same place so they're all level. However what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it the other way around and I'm going to cut it to size um, which would be roughly about 6 foot 6 or thereabouts and then I'm going to bolt that in to where I want the first set of wall to be or the first set of panels to go. Once I've done that I'll uh, cut another one for the opposite side and that'll do that one. So I've got it all marked up as to where the, uh, the first cut's going to be, so uh, I'll get all that cut to size, and then uh, we'll go from there, and see if it all fits, it should do, I can't, can't see it not working, it's going to work the same as it normally does, but I'll uh, get the old murder wheel out, and get that cut. So, having got the first bits of the U-channel cut, and they've gone in there like that, so they're all bolted together, and then that gave me the ability of putting two panels in, so I don't know how much of a view we're going to get from here, but we've got the two panels from the ground up, up to the top there, so they're all in, and they're fairly solid for now, they're wedged at the minute, so uh, keep them in one place, and then literally all I need to do now is to work out the joist supports from those parts there, straight across to there, and then that'll stiffen all the side of this, and of course down here where the rest of the framework is, I've got another panel to go in there, and, uh, and then I can see about blocking that end piece off and opening that side up so I can connect this to the shed that you can see just in the background there and that once that's all on and the roof's on that'll give me the ability of knocking this wall down and making the garage that little bit bigger and then obviously a bit of a, a bit of a clean up so uh, I think that'll bring it to an end for this episode and obviously to see how we're going on don't forget to like share and subscribe and you'll be able to see the rest of this as it progresses and turns into uh, a little bit of an extension on the side of my garage. Bye for now.